hello everybody welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome if you are new which i'm sure lots of you probably are my name is olivia and i basically just post lots and lots of fashion videos styling videos and the occasional vlog so if you do like videos like that then please do click subscribe and also check out my instagram i will pop my instagram just here so that you can have a little look of the sort of thing that i post and see if that's up your street today as you've probably seen from the title we have got a zara haul with a bit of a twist now the twist that i'm chucking in is that everything i'm going to show you is i'm going to say over maybe even more than that actually over a year old basically you guys loved my last video that i did um where i showed you a load of my new zara bits um i basically just shot a load of new basics i do think zara do really really great basics and like some of the pieces they bring out every single season um and i think a lot of them are really really worth buying because i get so much wear out of them um so those are the pieces that i wanted to go through in this video so like my best zara purchases ever the things that you know like cost per wear these are like 0 0.100 no 0 0.001 you know what i mean i've worn them a lot basically so that's what we're going to go through in this video i thought i would film in a different way to normal normally i would just sit here and show you them and then put a cut away i've got a really really orange hand well just orange thumb actually by the looks of it i'm not really sure how i manage that yeah, i'm gonna do it a bit different to normal i'm basically just gonna put the things on and talk you through them um rather than like sit here hold them up put the car away blah blah blah. i just thought it'd be a bit more of an interesting way to do the video you'll see a lot of really great denim in this video a lot of really great leather trousers um plain t-shirts that kind of thing but these are the pieces that i kind of i promise on my life these are worth your pennies okay so let's get in to the video so this is how we are doing things today i just think i mean is it a bit echoey i don't know no we're going with it we're going with it um so yeah i'm just going to try things on and show you what i have on now is a pair of the classic zara mum jeans i think these are from like the trf section and they're 24.99 which if you compare that to like Topshop, which are what, 50 quid for a pair of mum jeans. And I think that's actually really, really good. Um, I also really like the fit of these. The only downside is that they have got like a bit of a gaping bit here. These that I've got on now are a size eight. Um, and like I said, they do gape a little bit at the back. So I have actually got these in a size six as well. And it depends on what I'm doing that day as to which jeans I put on like if I know that I want to look nice and I'm not that interested in being comfortable <laughs> then I'll put on the size six but if not then yeah I do stick to the size eight um I'll pop the size six on and show you how they fit as well personally I do prefer the way that the size six fit but yeah they're just they're not as comfortable <laughs> at all um these are also just fresh out the wash though so that also kind of plays a part on how tightly they're fitting right now um but obviously the tighter you go the more they flatten your bum which isn't the best thing but um yeah i just think from the front they look a lot nicer and obviously because they fit around the waist i just feel like that's a bit more flattering i don't know by the way the white t-shirt i have on right now is also zara this is like one of my newer basics purchases this isn't that old but um I've had them before and I just really really like the way that they feel they're quite like thin um which I think just makes for quite a nice fitting t-shirt okay so I've just put on the exact same jeans but in black these are a really really nice wash they're quite faded so they look quite worn I think as a mum jean should because it's kind of like that vintage style so I never really get like a true black mum jean because I just don't think that it kind of works um, but yeah, these are a size 8 and I would say they actually fit smaller than the blue ones in a size 8. I think that that is something to do with like the dye. When you put a dark coloured dye on a jean, I think it makes it slightly smaller. So that is something to bear in mind. Um, but yeah, really, really like the fit of these. I just think 24 99 for a pair of mum jeans. You can't really go wrong unless they don't fit, obviously, but these are quite a good fit. These jeans are the best thing. I think I've ever, ever bought from Zara. 
These are slouchy fit and I'm so gutted that they stopped doing like this exact pair. They still have several like slouchy fit jeans but these are just like massive balloons and they're so cool, um, especially with a blazer on. So that was kind of like the shape I was going for when I bought the paper bag ones and I think they're the same but like slightly less drastic in terms of a balloon in this. But yeah, I just love these. Again, with like a structured shoulder, I think they look really cool. It just balances it out so well. Um, and I wear them a lot. You lot always ask me about these. I'm really annoyed that I can't link the exact pair, but obviously I'm gonna try my best to find similar. Okay, so I just wanted to quickly talk top halves before we move on to leather trousers. Um, so yeah, basically the white t-shirt I've got on now, I think is a really, really good basic. So I've also got it in black and brown. Um, I absolutely adore this brown because it's more of like a grey tone, which I think is very, very kind of like versatile and easy to style. Um, but yeah, these are just really great basics to have in your wardrobe. And then, it would not be a Zara Basics kind of styling video without these bodysuits. So these are the three colours I have. I love this sage green colour, I think it's really, really nice. Um, I also have white. This has gone a bit kind of discoloured, even though I never wash it with colour. Um, not really sure what that's about, but maybe just because I've worn it a lot. Um, and then I also have black. These I don't really necessarily wear on their own, just because I think they're very low here, which isn't like this part of me isn't necessarily my favourite oops, favourite part of my body, but um, I think they're really, really great layering pieces. They're really nice under blazers, just because they're so smooth. You can really just barely tell that they're there. Um, so yeah, these are one of my favourite things for kind of layering purposes. Okay, so moving on to leather trousers. Now this is actually one of the main reasons I wanted to make this video, because I have got some fantastic leather trousers from Zara. So the first pair that I wanted to talk about is these leather joggers. Uh, by the way, when I say leather, I mean plastic. <laughs> so these joggers are just like a really, really thick, smooth plastic. Like they don't look too shiny and bin bag-esque. So that's kind of why I really, really like them. Um, and I just think they're like a really nice way to wear a leather trouser a bit more casually. So I tend to wear these with a pair of trainers and a jumper or a blazer. Um, yeah, just like I said, to feel a bit more casual in them. Um, I also find these like the warmest pair of trousers I own because they are tight at the bottom. They keep all the heat in. So, I mean, not a benefit if it's not a cold day, but if it's a really cold day, these are so snuggly. <laughs> so I think I'm wearing these in a size small, but I probably could have got away with an extra small because there's quite a lot of fabric here. Um, although I have lost a bit of weight since buying these. I think I bought them last year or the year before. Um, so yeah, but like I say, I wear these all the time. Okay, so these are the skinny ones. The reason I think I love them so much, oh, we're out of focus. Hello. Yeah, so the reason I think I love them so much is because they're a bit more kind of trouser-esque than legging. Um, and I, they're like pleather rather than a coated jean as well. So they're that really great in between of leather trousers and leather leggings. They've got a fly zip, a popper and belt loops. I can't tell you how happy I am that they put belt loops in these trousers. It's just like the most life changing thing to be able to accessorise a leather trouser outfit with a belt. Just makes me so happy. So I hope you don't mind, I've just kept the um, styling in this video to basically putting a black blazer and a belt on or nothing just because this video is not about like fancy outfits this is about stuff that you can easily wear every single day and like everybody can style these outfits you know it's nothing groundbreaking so i just feel like putting a belt on these trousers has completely like drawn the outfit together um it's gone from feeling like I'm wearing a pair of leggings to feeling like I'm wearing a pair of trousers. And again, I've just put this oversized black blazer on and this is an outfit that I really, really like and would wear to literally every occasion. It just depends on what you put on your feet, basically. You could put a pair of heels on and wear this out. Loafers go to work, boots go to work, trainers go literally anywhere. You know what I mean? Like it's just a versatile brunch, shopping, anything you want outfit. Um, my only piece of advice with these leggings is you need to size up. Um, sorry, I just got really out of breath randomly. Yeah, so these trousers I'm wearing in a medium and I'm like a size eight, 
so yeah not a medium so yeah definitely size up in these trousers otherwise we pretty much won't be able to get them on um well i couldn't anyway next up i have these straight leg or kind of balloon-esque um leather trousers i don't think zara are doing these anymore which is a pain but i have blog posts linking quite a few that are like similar to this and these are literally something that I wear a couple of times a week. I find this shape really, really easy to style. Um, they're kind of similar to the balloon jeans in the way that I style them. Um, but yeah, they can be smart, casual, anything, and they're so comfortable. So yeah, these are definitely a massive staple in my wardrobe. It feels a little bit strange to be finishing this video off crouched down on the floor and also really, really uncomfortable. So I'm going to make it quick. I hope you enjoyed the video and I really hope it was quite useful um, in terms of finding the best basics in Zara because I know you loved my other basics video. If you that rail is so wonky by the way not the camera um yeah if you have not checked out my last video on zara basics i'll link that one down below as well uh, i hope it was a useful video and please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed it and also do check out my instagram where i basically just post my outfits every single day so yeah thank you very much for watching and hopefully i will see you all again soon